Yep, you know it. You're listening to Men of Abundance, episode 134. We're paying it forward today. It's Veterans Day. Welcome to Men of Abundance, the podcast for those looking to level up their lives by hanging out with some of the greatest leaders and established professionals in our community, living a life of integrity, honor, and the abundance mentality. Prepare to pay it forward with your host, former Army medic turned lifestyle entrepreneur, Wally Carmichael. Aloha, men of abundance. It is Veterans Day. I am Wally Carmichael, your host and founder of the Men of Abundance podcast, the Pay It Forward community. And my tongue is tied. I have already been talking to a couple guys today. I had some amazing conversations today. I just got off the line with Larry Hagner. He is the host and founder of The Good Dad Project. Amazing, amazing individual, amazing conversation. I'll be sharing that with you later in December. Uh, So make sure you subscribe to Men of Abundance so that you don't miss that episode or any of the other amazing conversations that I have coming up for you. If you're brand new to Men of Abundance, I would first like for you to thank whoever it is that introduced you to Men of Abundance. And by doing that, you know, just send them a message, give them a phone call, tell them in person, thank you for connecting me with Men of Abundance. You may not know it now, but I believe you're going to get a lot out of these conversations. Many have. And I hope you do too. And then pay it forward. Share it with somebody else. That's what this is all about. That's why this is the Pay It Forward community. And today is Pay It Forward Aloha Friday. Every other day, well, Thursday, Tuesdays and Thursdays is a conversation-based podcast where I have conversations with other abundant leaders doing amazing things in their own life and paying it forward to others in the community. And I share those on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Then Friday is Pay It Forward Aloha Friday, where I basically share whatever's on my mind for that day. It's a much shorter episode, much shorter podcast, but uh, a lot of people are getting a lot out of these, and I truly appreciate all the feedback. If you would like to leave some feedback, the easiest, I've made it so simple for you. All you have to do is go to menofabundance.com if you're not there already. Underneath the podcast player where you're listening to this right now, if you are listening on the website, There is an iTunes button, there's an Android button, there's a leave a review button. You can click on any of those and you can leave a review on whatever podcast player it is that you're listening on. Leave a rating and review. Tell us how much you enjoy what you're getting out of this conversation, what you're getting out of Men of Abundance, out of the entire experience. I read every single one of those reviews over there, and I'm very humbled at the impact that it's making on so many people's lives. I truly appreciate it. So today is Pay It Forward Aloha Friday, and I have kind of an interesting story for you. I have not put this out yet, but for the last three weeks, almost four weeks, I have been driving Lyft. And I started doing that because, one, I'm out here, for those of you who know, I'm doing split ops right now. My family's in Tampa. I'm out here in Hawaii. I have some more time on my hands. And I started looking at this whole Lyft thing. I started getting all these emails, and I was kind of intrigued. And I'm always telling people to start some sort of a side hustle, some way to make some extra income. And I also like meeting new people. And the other thing is my cousin and her husband were out here a couple weeks ago. And while they were here for that week, I took them all over the island. I took them like I was a tour guide and just took them to all the really cool places that I like to hang out and a few new places. And her husband made a comment that, you know, you should be like a travel guide or something like that because you're really good. And as we were, I was taking them around, there were also other people that were tourists that were here vacationing and I was out on the beach and in the water and some people I start talking to and they start asking me hey where's some good places to eat where's some good places to shop and this that and the other and I started sharing all of these experiences with them and that's when the comment was made that I should be a tour guide of some sort well I don't really have the time to do all of that uh, as much as I would love to but then I thought I started getting these information more information about being a Lyft driver and so I set it up so that I would get authorization you know you got to make sure your vehicle's registered they got to do a background check and all this cool stuff so about three or four weeks ago I got the email one Sunday morning that said I was authorized to start driving to put my Lyft logo on the truck and just get going and I had the app and all this other cool stuff so I did it that Sunday and in about 
almost two hours, <laughs> I made about almost 40 bucks. But I met some really, really cool people. And I had these conversations while I was lifting and taking them to their destination and whatnot. And I, I just had a blast. I had so much fun. And I, I'm actually considering having some sort of a video blog or something like that I might have on YouTube about experiences of or adventures or experiences of a Lyft driver because the comments and the conversations that I have with some people and sometimes these people are in the car or in my truck and they're having a conversation like I'm not even there. They are having truly deep personal conversations. Some of them are passionate. Some of them are arguing. Some of them are, you know, nobody's making out or having sex in the backseat of the car or anything like that. But uh, their, their conversations are quite comical. And I'm there just trying to mind my own business. But it's kind of hard because they're right there. And they're acting like I'm not. So it, it's very interesting to be able to see all the different personalities and, and have these conversations and meet all these people. Well, I say that because one of the last lifts that I had one night was from this lady who we were talking about living abundantly. And I always bring these conversations up and I have my business card. So I handed her my business card and on my business card, it says men of abundance that pay it forward community. So she said, Oh, that's a really cool movie. Pay it forward. And I was like, what? And she said, you've never seen the movie Pay It Forward with Kevin Spacey, Helen Hunt, and the kid that saw dead people? <laughs> she couldn't remember his name. I think his name is, uh, I looked it up actually, Haley Joel Osment is his name. He looks so different now, uh, as a side note. But anyhow, um, I hadn't seen that movie. I hadn't seen Pay It Forward. So that night, I came home, and I looked it up. I think it was on Amazon or something like that, and I paid the two ninety nine to rent it for a couple of days, and I watched the movie that night. Very, very inspiring movie. It's a tearjerker. I'm not going to give away the ending or even anything in between, but it, it really kind of drove home this whole pay-it-forward concept, this whole pay-it-forward idea. Now, where I got the pay-it-forward idea from was I had a commander when I was in the Army that his he was a colonel, but his dad was uh, enlisted, and I think he made it up through sergeant major, maybe first sergeant, as I did. And he used to always say, you know, when he gave out information, when he gave out a speech, he gave out some training, he did anything for the troops, he would always make sure that the NCOs and the soldiers went and paid it forward, meaning they shared that information with somebody else. Don't hold on to the information. You know, you may have heard people say that knowledge is power or information is power. Well, it's only power if it's shared, if it's paid forward. And that's where I got this whole pay it forward idea from, because as a man of abundance, uh, I want to have resources in my possession. I want to gain more resources. And that's not just physical resources and money and stuff like that. It's also knowledge, information, connections, relationships. And then I wanted to pay that forward to you as listeners and to you, those that are following me on Facebook and Instagram and to the, you who I know personally. And specifically today being Veterans Day, I want to pay it forward to all of my fellow veterans and their families out there. And I'm doing that in two ways. One, I'm telling you right now, I love you. I truly admire you and everything you've done for the United States of America, regardless of why you decided to join the military and give your time and give your talents and efforts while taking so much time away from your personal family and your kids and your spouse. All of you men and women who served, as well as all of you spouses and the children of military personnel and veterans, I truly, truly honor you. I appreciate you and I love every single one of you like you're my personal family because you are. I spent 25 years with you on active duty and I'm still serving you today as a DOD civilian. Now, the other way that I'm going to serve you specifically is monetarily. And what I mean by that is I will be lifting this whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I get a lot. This is I only do lift primarily Friday, Saturday, and Sunday anyway, but 10% of all of my earnings are going to be going to a little known but fast growing program for veterans called Moe's Heroes. And what Moe's Heroes does is they help homeless heroes. Now, Moe's Heroes was created by Mo. I know her as Shadonna McFall. She is retired Air Force, and she started this program while she was still on active duty, and it is taken off. She's partnered with Buffalo Wild Wings and a couple other great organizations that are helping her with this cause of helping our homeless heroes. You can check out Moe's Heroes by going to moesheroes.org. That's M-O-S-H. 
E-R-O-E-S dot O-R-G. Go over there and check out what she's doing. She's doing some amazing things by helping our homeless heroes. And you can listen to her and I have a conversation because she was one of my earliest guests on Men of Abundance. And that's episode 11 that you can find at menofabundance.com forward slash 011. I will have both of those links linked up in the show notes at menofabundance.com forward slash 134. So listen, if you're looking for suggestions on how to pay it forward to veterans, it is an amazing feeling to just reach out to a veteran and saying thank you for your service. I personally appreciate that. I appreciate it every single time. Uh, And it is a great, great gesture. And there are so many veterans that need so much assistance on many different levels and that we're not going to get into right now today on this show. I've had these conversations before and you know what they are. They're out there. Awareness is one thing, but reaching out and actually helping somebody physically is so much better. So if you want to do that, find any number of organizations out there. There are literally hundreds of them, maybe even thousands of them that are helping veterans Look them up, make sure that they're a reputable source and that you can reach out and help a veteran. Contributing to Most Heroes is just one of many ways to pay it forward to our veterans. Many of you out there have some amazing skills. Some of these veterans are trying to start their own business. You can help them with their website. Contact a veteran and say, hey, I looked at your website. It doesn't look that great. Or maybe the SEO isn't all that good. Help them out. Get, help them design their website. Pay it forward that way. Or maybe some of you really are really good at writing resumes. Have a couple veterans send you their resume and then clean it up and help them give, give them some pointers on how to go to a job interview. There are so many ways that you can help veterans. And oh, by the way, men and women, you can do this for anybody. It doesn't have to be a veteran. You can pay it forward to anybody. I'm just bringing up veterans today specifically because, one, I'm a veteran. I love helping veterans, but today is Veterans Day. So make a decision on how it is that you're going to pay it forward today and then go do that. Don't just make the decision and and take no action. Make a decision and go do that. And here's what happens when you pay it forward. Just like in the movie Pay It Forward, it perpetuates. It builds on itself. When you help somebody else in such a profound way that pays it forward, they will in turn pay it forward naturally. That's just human nature. When somebody does something great for me, I feel compelled to go do something great for either that person or somebody else. And that's what the movie was about as well. When somebody paid it forward, you had to pay it forward to three other people. You couldn't pay it back to the person who did something for you. You had to pay it forward to three other people. Now, I do have to caveat this conversation since I brought up the movie Pay It Forward and Kevin Spacey, and I know he's going through some stuff right now and some information was revealed. Look, Uh, All I'm asking you at this point is just to kind of, I don't know about if you can look past that. That's hard to do, obviously, but just get into the movie and check out the storyline. I just think it's a great storyline. And whether you watch the movie or not, just know paying forward is the premise of Men of Abundance. And I just love the whole concept and idea of paying it forward just because it feels amazing. And it's just who I am and who we are here at Men of Abundance. All right, man, I appreciate you tuning in on this amazing Veterans Day. I'm going to go clean the truck and uh, get it all ready, turn on my Lyft app, go meet some amazing people, and make a little bit of money for most heroes and help out some more homeless veterans. And as always, I want you to go out and live your life of abundance and pay it forward today 